Hi everyone and welcome to our next video. We're going to take a look at our layout here to start with and I wanted to mention something about the viewport size. The viewport size is the size of the screen that we see when we press play and we play the game. So when I go here you can see that this is the viewport size. Just wanted to let you know that you can change that part way through your project. You just need to go to project properties, click on view, and then scroll down to viewport size. Here it is here. Maybe I want to make it um, a lot, let's say, um, so it's more vertical. I'm going to change this second number here from say 900 to let's say 1800. So I'm going to double that and I'm going to hit enter or click on something else. And it might be hard to see, but I can see that it's changed on here. So when I go to preview, I can see, yes, that has changed. Um, now it is much taller, if you will, um, so I can readjust things in the game as I wish I can move my platforms around. Now, when we ran this here, you can see that our character is mirroring left to right just as we want. But we can see that the animation is still going even though we've stopped. And that doesn't look very good. We're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna close this here. We're gonna go to our event sheet. I'm gonna go add an event. And I'm gonna say when the main character, so I click on main character next. I'm gonna go down to um, platform when the character is moving. I'm going to go next. Then I'm going to add an action. And it's based on the main character. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to go next. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to animations, set animation. I'm going to go there and click next. And if you remember, we have three different animations. We have idle, we have jumping, and we have running. I want the character to use the running animation. So in quotes, I'm going to put running and then I'm going to click done. And what will happen is when I have the character moving, it is going to run the animation. It's going to move the legs. So there, I've got that set. Now, one other condition I want to have is when it's on the platform. So when it's jumping, um, I don't want the legs to be moving. So I'm going to click right here in this gray box here. And what I can do is I can actually put in a, another condition. I can say when the main character is on the floor. So I'm going to say when it's moving and when it's on the floor. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to go next. And there you can see that in order for the running animation to work, the two conditions that must be satisf satisfied are that it's moving and it's on the floor. Now, I'm going to go add another event because what I need to do now is when it's stopped, I want the legs to stop moving. So I'm going to click on main character, next, and I'm going to go down to here. When the character is stopped. So I'm going to go stopped. I'm going to go next. I'm going to go add action. I'm going to say main character next. And I'm going to set the animation this time to idle. If you remember, idle was one of our animation states. Now that's got to be in brackets. So idle, it actually pops up here, the ones that I can pick. So I'm going to pick on that one. And oops. So if I double click on that, there we go. And we got that, I'm gonna click done. So now when it's on the platform and it's stopped, then it's gonna go and run the idle animation so the legs will stop moving. I'm gonna add one other condition here. I'm gonna say that when the main character, next, is on the platform. So I'm going to put when it's on the floor, I'm going to go next. So now when it's stopped and it's on the floor, 
then the legs will stop moving. So let's go see if this works. I'm gonna go preview, click on this, and let's try it. So it's running, the legs are moving. When I stopped, yes, the legs stop. When I move to the right, the legs are moving, I let go, it stops, perfect. Now, I want you to do the same thing with jumping. Now notice right now, it does jump, but there's no animations to the jump. Um, there's nothing that happens with the jump. Maybe I wanna move the arm up, maybe I wanna move both legs, maybe I want the hair to go up, maybe I want a little smile on the character. I want you to put that animation in and you're gonna go put in the condition action for that. So there, now we know how to get our animations to work. In other words, we're using a condition action. We're setting the animation, um, whatever it is. In this case, we did running, we did idle. I want you to do jumping as well. So that's it for this video. You can try it on your own. Have fun with it, and we'll talk to you soon.